I just want to share with you uh, some thoughts about if I was an atheist. Imagine today I was an atheist. What would I do? Well, if I was an atheist today, I would come out of atheism within the next five minutes. I would just leave and abandon atheism straight away. Why would I leave atheism? Well, first of all, I would leave atheism um, because I, I do feel that it's anti-intellectual. Um, I've listened to over, I, I mean, it must be going on to tens and tens and thousands of comments from atheists. One of the things that, out of those tens and ten, tens of thousands of comments that I have, I've had from atheists, is, is that a very small percentage, perhaps not, not even a handful, of tens of thousands of comments that I've had from atheists have shown any real um, openness to real open discussion and uh, desire for seeking truth. Just a, a handful, m not even a handful, maybe two, three, maybe four max people that I've met out of tens of thousands of comments that I've had on YouTube. And I've found atheism totally anti-intellectual I mean I, I remember the atheist set telling me that there are the, these dying and rising gods and uh, and Jesus was one of them and I, I went to original sources and I studied uh, the Dionysian hymns I read the original Greek uh, hymns and things like that and and um, completely found what the atheist was, was saying was just not true was purely anti-intellectual uh, misrepresenting history in a diabolical way um, and I found this often with the atheist that whenever they present something they seem quite clever but when you actually research it and look into it they're, they're not being honest they're presenting things in a dishonest way so as an atheist I, I would say if you are an atheist that you need to come out of atheism because if I was an atheist right now this moment I would come out of atheism as simple as that that's just on that basis alone then the arguments that atheists put up against Christianity are just not intellectually honest I mean this argument for example um, that uh, that Christians use that you know that there must have been a, a first cause uh, to the universe and it could have only been God uh, and the, the idea that every cause has an effect and so there must have been an, a, an effective cause uh, to the creation of the universe and the only effective cause that could be is God unless matter is eternal and the atheist just completely dishonest I mean they go into this uh, Krauss dance where where Krauss and other atheists talk about dark matter and you know there is no such thing as nothing and they get into these kind of stupid arguments and that nothing does not mean nothing and and but from a philosophical point of view nothing is nothing you know but no uh, they've got to try to use some kind of uh, pseudoscience and, and get out of the problem that when we talk about nothing we mean nothing but they say nothing does not necessarily mean nothing and I mean that's just complete intellectual dishonesty complete intellectual dishonesty and, and um, because at the end of the day some you come to the end of the line in terms of matter and at the end of the there will be an end of the line you know uh, so I mean it's just crazy and, and they're just intellectually dishonest and the, another example is the Big Bang the Big Bang kind of uh, the atheists don't like it because it, it shows that there was a beginning to the universe so and you can use that as an argument in, uh, that there is a God that if there was a beginning to the universe then it something must have started it and just a, a kind of a, uh, a controlled explosion doesn't explain the phenomenon of the universe so it makes people think about that there must be a God who, who created it so the atheists know this so they don't like it now this is a, a, 
a scientific verified kind of uh, fact that there was some big bang but now the atheists are, are doing everything they can especially the athe physicists that are atheists are doing everything they can to come up with new ways of thinking to get round this issue of the big bang which is complete disingenuousness and not being honest in other words you you only accept things if it suits you but if it doesn't suit you you'll try and work round it and get round it and and that's another reason why I would encourage you to leave atheism um, and if I was an atheist today on that basis I would leave atheism the third reason I would leave atheism today is the complete utter nut job leaders that are around today uh, leading atheism and the atheists will say oh we don't have any leaders no well I'm sorry but you've got a lot of uh, sugar daddy uh, uh, do-gooders who think that they're kind of pop stars today atheists and they uh, have used atheism to uh, propagate their careers such as Aaron Ra and Thunderfoot but I mean these are the, the leaders that that have come up the last few years are, are, are crazy nut job people I mean Sam Harris talking about everybody who is religious is a kind of dangerous uh, it's kind of possible uh, Muslim fanatic who's going to blow people up it's just crazy uh, you should abandon atheism on on the fact that you've allowed someone like a nut job like Sam Harris to come along uh, and talk like that is disgusting and then when Dawkins says it's uh, child abuse to teach children six day creation I mean this is just nut job crazy mentality and you shouldn't leave atheism because of these nut job leaders who talk such nonsense the diatribes that atheists make uh, such as Thunderfoot and Aaron Ra uh, are just not rational they're not based in, in uh, rationality uh, when Aaron Ra says that Christians are not rational and they don't have any evidence and you challenge the guy and say well come and have a debate with me on the resurrection he says oh no no Jesus is a fable but doesn't even bother defending his position and yet he pumps out week in week out that Christianity is irrational you should abandon atheism because of this kind of diabolical nut job kind of atheist leaders that are around today and then fourthly you should abandon atheism because of Jesus Christ you see Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life he's had the greatest impact in history there is evidence that he existed there is evidence that he rose from the dead there's evidence that he's the son of God and he's the person that you need to deal with as an atheist and for that reason you should come out of atheism so those are my reasons today why I, if I was an atheist today, I would abandon atheism and I would turn to Christianity. Thank you for listening and take care.